Hi there! I love Dance Dance Revolution. And if you clicked on this video, chances are you might too. Maybe you used to play the console games in your basement. Maybe you played at the arcades all the time in the mid-2000s. It's not really talked about anymore, but did you know that people still play DDR to this day? It's true. There are a lot of active players, there are tournaments and community events, people support and challenge each other and everything. In fact, you could argue that the DDR community is bigger today than it has ever been. But the game might look a bit different than what you remember. There are a lot of misconceptions out there and information is very spread apart, so this video exists as a proper introduction and overview of what Dance Dance Revolution is in 2021. There is a lot to talk about and the link of everything I'm gonna mention here will be included in the video description. So let's get the obvious thing out of the way. The game still exists in arcades and if your arcade has a DDR820 Plus machine, which is currently the latest version, then you are playing modern DDR. But this is not what this video is about, because the arcade games are sadly not accessible to everyone. Players do not always play the official games. There are multiple reasons for that, some of which are mentioned in one of my previous videos, but basically, people prefer to have their own private setups. Instead, people play on a DDR simulator for PC called Stepmania. Stepmania has been around for almost 20 years. It is completely customizable and has evolved and changed a lot throughout the years. Let's pause for a second to clear some confusion regarding the many, many names that this game has. Dance Dance Revolution, or DDR for short, is a series of arcade and console games made by Konami that started in 1998. Outside of arcades, there hasn't been a new release since the last Wii game in 2011. Stepmania is the name of the DDR simulator that started development on PC a few years after DDR was first introduced. In the Groove, or ITG, was a series of games made by the American company Rockstar in 2004 as a competitor to DDR. It was heavily based on the Stepmania 3 engine and got shut down by Konami because of legal issues. You will often hear people refer to the game as ITG because they play on Stepmania using features that were first introduced in ITG. But Stepmania is also used to play normal DDR songs. People do that because Stepmania is more customizable and entirely community driven. With Stepmania, you can have as many songs as you want, you can fine tune your speed, you can change the way the arrows look, the combo, the judgment, everything. With regular DDR, you get. You get. Shut up, I'm trying to hear the song! So, yes, yeah, Stepmania is more flexible. The only unfortunate part is that Stepmania doesn't have access to the Konami EMU's network. So whether it's called DDR, ITG, Stepmania, not ITG, we'll talk about this one later, 4Panel, Eterna, which is a version specific for keyboard play, Simply Love, Waterfall, Outfox, at the end of the day, they all use Stepmania to play the game at home. It might be a different version of Stepmania, or using different teams for the program, but it's all Stepmania. Always has been. The video is mostly about playing on DancePad, so for the sake of simplicity and personal preference, I will be referring to the game as ITG from now on. So if you play at home, you need a personal setup. Setups can vary wildly. For example, here Gerard the Completionist bought an old DDR Extreme machine from 2002 and modified it to install State Mania inside of the machine. He mostly plays DDR songs on it, but he can have as many songs as he wants, and he doesn't have to worry about game versions or credits or anything like that. My setup, meanwhile, is an L Tech platform, worth about $200, inside of a custom wood base that I then plug directly into my computer. You know, whatever works. So now that you have a setup, time to play some songs. So what type of songs do people play now? Well, this is where it gets interesting. Because Techmania has been around for such a long time, there are a lot, and I mean a lot, of custom songs and content made for it. And nowadays, certain types of content are made for certain types of players in mind. You can split all modern players in roughly three categories. Tech players, stamina players, and mod players. And now a few side notes. These are not absolute categories, and many, many players do not fit in just one box. But this is the best way to simplify it. I might generalize and exaggerate a few things, but this is all for the sake of making things easier to understand. Also, from this point onward, most of the footage shown will be from very good players that have been playing for a very long time. As explained earlier, Stepmania lets you customize everything, 
so many players prefer to have their notes scrolled by very fast to make the charts easier to read. The arrows don't change, they are simply scrolling faster than what you might be used to. Reading at that speed is also a skill that players learn throughout the year. Also, it's 2021. Everyone uses the bar now, so relax. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the tech community. Also known as Fantastic Attack, FA or FA+, you can think of tech or technique play as an evolution of the standard DDR gameplay. Just like with normal DDR, tech players want to get the best score possible on a song. It's all about accuracy. An ITG tech player wants to get a perfect score of 100%, also known as a quad because it shows 4 stars on the result screen. However, to make things more difficult, tech songs now include special techniques that you would not normally do in DDR. There are many of those techniques, and there is a great video by Vince and ITG on the subject which I will link down below. But the two most commonly used are foot switches, where you have to hit the same arrow panel multiple times by alternating your feet, and brackets, where you have to hit two panels with a single foot. Additionally, many tech players use a game mode that makes the timing more strict. This game mode is usually referred to as Fantastic Attack Plus, FA Plus, or 15 milliseconds. Essentially, the Fantastic timing is split into two, a Fantastic and a Better Fantastic, or white and blue. When you take all of that together, it can create some mind-melting stuff, like this, This or this Yes. Some examples of tech song packs include the Bimani Beat series. X Guy One Pack, Club Fantastic, Skittle Selection, Notice B Benpai, ITG Alice Compilations, and more. The tech community does events and tournaments under the ECFA moniker, or Everyone Can Fantastic Attack. The East Coast Fantastic Attack Discord server is the main hub for the community. Invite links are included in the description. On the other side of the spectrum, you have the Stamina community. As the name suggests, Stamina is all about playing faster and longer songs. Stamina players generally don't focus on technique or timing and play almost exclusively songs with patterns that let your feet flow, called streams. In fact, Stamina players don't really mind their score too much. The only thing that truly matters is that you finish the songs without your life bar hitting zero. It's all in the pursuit of pushing oneself and always playing harder and harder levels. Some players go for long songs, others try to go as fast as possible. While tech levels usually cap at around ITG level 14 or 15, stamina levels just never really stop increasing. It's all about minimizing your movements and bracing yourself for the long ride. And sometimes that ride is long. And I mean really long. Like really, really long. If tech is like a 2 minute sprint through an obstacle course, stamina is like a marathon on flat ground. You know what to expect before you start the song, you just have to do it. Again, a reminder that these categories are not absolute and are not always separate. Some players do Stamina FA, where it's Stamina, but they're also trying to get the best score. But there's also Stammy Tech, where it's really long, but it's also full of techniques. The lines get blurred a lot. Some examples of Stamina Packs are the Sharpnell Streams, Pendulum, Aerobeat is Fantastic Packs, O. Henry, Crank Pastry, Stamina Safari, and many more. The Stamina community is behind the East Coast Stamina tournaments and the Stamina RPG events. Their main hub is the Stamina Nation Discord server. 
The last community I want to talk about in this video is the mod community. But this one is a bit harder to explain, so let's start with an example. So as you can see, there's a lot going on on the screen. There are arrows to hit, of course, but they are quite difficult to see. If tech is about accuracy and stamina is about, well, stamina, the mod or modifier community is all about chart reading challenges. It's about making the arrows harder, but always possible, to see properly. Mod files are by far the most creative things you will see in ITG, and with the proper use of graphics and coding, anything is possible. Here's a song with minigames inspired by WarioWare. Here's a battle against Sans from Undertale. Or heck, forget about arrows entirely and just make a different game instead. Mod charts are super fun to watch, and some videos of them are very popular, but playing them can be difficult because their primary goal is to be hard to read. It really is all about the reading, because when you remove all the effects, the arrows by themselves are usually pretty easy. To accommodate all the crazy effects included in mod files, the community created its own version of Stepmania that supports and makes the creation of such charts easier. While other communities use the latest version of Stepmania, which is currently Stepmania 5.3, the mod community uses a modified version of Stepmania 3.5 called Not ITG. Some mod files have been converted to work on Stepmania 5, but most mod files are only compatible with Not ITG. But it's worth it to see some of the craziness that comes out of it. The mod community is behind the UKSRT, or United Kingdom Sight Read Tournaments, as well as many chart making competitions. Their main hub is the UKSRT Discord server. Links below as always. And those are some of the ways that people play modern DDR or ITG. There are other ways I didn't mention, like double play, freestyle, or even 9 panel. But these are the main ones. And of course, many players simply prefer to play classic DDR songs, or random custom content from all around the internet. The Xenius iVanisher community has done a fantastic job with their DDR-inspired Stepmania team Starlight, and have been working hard on their Dance Dance Revolution Double X pack to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the game. Club Fantastic Dance offers their own pre-installed Stepmania team and includes packs consisting of all original music. Heck, even me and my friends made some packs. Did I mention there's a lot of content out there? Yeah, it's crazy. So if you are interested in getting back into it, there's no better time than now. Some things in this video might seem intimidating, but everyone is supportive and wants to see each other improve. And every player goes at their own pace, so don't be afraid to try. And don't forget to have fun too. Thank you for watching. A special thanks to DumbITG, Rujo, Mirin, Reax, FabSab, and Tiza for the help with script and fact-checking. And I hope to see you on the dance floor.